Just going to explain very briefly what I'm going to do. I've got to take the door off first. I'm going to set this down on the ground and I'm going to work it on the ground. Well, the idea is the, the little nibs that are attached onto the door. You can see this top is attached to the piece that's on the door. So this top knuckle, this next, every other knuckle, the third one and the fifth one are attached to the door. So I'm going to have three knuckles that's going to be down on the, on, on when I lower it down. And, there's, and we're going to have the same thing up there. Well, I'm going to take those actual knuckles and I'm going to bend them. I'm going to bend them towards the door. Okay, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'm going to do, I'm going to bend that top one a little bit more than I am the second one because this is an eight foot door. If this was just a three foot, uh, eight foot, six foot eight door, maybe I only have to bend uh, the top knuckles, but because this is on the top hinge, but because this is, is uh, has four hinges, this one's going to take a little bit of the stress off of that one once I tweak that. See, these two knuckles, I'm not going to do anything on those, and I'm going to bend those ever so slightly on that one, and I'm going to bend those more. So the idea is, once I bend that, that's going to allow the door, when the door is closed, and if these knuckles were bent over a little bit, can you see that that's going to push the edge of this door over closer to the edge of the door stop? Same thing down here. Okay? It, I, I learned, I just kind of figured this out on my own once upon a time years ago. And so every once in a while, I end up having to do it. Okay? And it's, it's like a trial and error. I don't know, do I know exactly how far to tweak each one of those? No, I don't. I have a fairly good idea, and I'm going to try it first. But chances are, when I take this door down and I tweak those hinges a little bit, and I put it back up, I, I'm not going to be surprised if I'm going to have to do it again a little bit more, a little bit less, or whatever, usually a little bit more to get it exactly where I want. So I could take this door down at least twice, maybe. I might get lucky on the first time, or maybe I have to do it three times, but that's how I'm going to fix this door and get it looking primo. Okay, stick around. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. All right. Okay, time to take this door down. I'm taking a nail set. I'm just going to pop the bottom up of the hinge pin so I can grab onto it. Most, most hinges you can do this. Sometimes you can't. You might have to use a little nail. Then I'm going to find my Cutters, yeah, I use some cutters. I just use those dikes like that. I'm going to hang on to the hinge pin, and you know what? It's uh, you can't really see the bottom one that I'm going to do, but I'm just going to tap that up. I'm going to try to keep these off of the carpet. I don't want to get any grease on there, so see, I'm, I'm hanging on to that, and I'm just going to use this to tap on that. Don't get too close up to the door, jam and stuff. And I'm going to, because it's an eight foot tall door, I'm just going to do the top one first. I don't have to mess with that at the, at the end. Once I take all of these pins out, the door's going to go cook clunk. And I'm going to have to be careful with this one because there's no it's because it's a double door, I'm going to have to probably hang on to it so it doesn't fall. That's why I didn't want to do that top one last off the ladder. Now I can just do this one and I can kind of hold this to make sure it doesn't uh, fall against the wall inside the closet. Well, see, I guess it wouldn't. It's hitting up there. I don't usually like to turn my back on a door. Especially if this is a solid core door, it could flop down and do some damage. You could mess up your door. You know, that's the last thing we want, right? And if this was just a single door, I would, I would pull this out from the door jam a little bit, away from the strike, just at a slight angle, so that I don't have to mess with that when the door 
wants to tip down. Okay, now I just lift that up. Because I'm going to work on those two hinges, just be kind of aware of how you're going to set this down, how you're going to hold it. I can, I can flop it back and forth like that to move it out a little bit. As you tilt it, you want to make sure you don't hit anything. And I'm just going to kind of have a game plan of where I'm going to set this door so I can show you on video what I'm going to do next. Okay? So, I think this will be fine. Right like that. Okay? I hope you're... I hope you're learning things as you go. You know, sometimes I may repeat myself uh, during certain things, but uh, just know I, I try I try to keep my videos as useful as possible. And I'm doing this for your benefit, not for mine. I'm trying to show you certain things, how you can save money, how you can fix things around your house on your own. So even if I do repeat myself, like uh, sometimes, you know, the more you hear the same thing, the more it it ingrains in your brain on, okay, yeah, I heard that before, I heard that before, and it starts sticking, you know what I mean? So anyways, my next step on what I need to do, and what is it gonna require? It's gonna require a crescent wrench, and I'm hoping this one's gonna do, I've got a little small one, but I don't think that one's going to work. I don't think I'm going to have enough give on it. Went to the store yesterday specifically for some things. And one of the things I wanted to do was get a, uh, another crescent wrench. So we're ready for the next step. You see, my next step is going to be taking these nibs and bending them down just a little bit. And I can generally do that on three and a half inch hinges because it's not as stout as four inch hinges, let's say, or four and a half inch. In fact, I have done commercial hinges with four and a half inch, and I just take a bigger crescent wrench to do that. But I use a crescent wrench. I can't, I can't use a pair of pliers or anything because on pliers, you've got, you know, all this business here going on. And if I were to grab that, with a pair of pliers and bend down, I'm going to leave all kinds of marks on these hinges. And that's what I don't want to do. That's why I use a crescent wrench. Sometimes you can use a uh, box, open-end box wrenches, but you got to get the exact right one because it's a happy medium. i got to have this exactly where I want it, and I've got to decide, do I want to put it on this way or do I want to put it on this way? I can't... I don't think I can do that way as much before this hits the, the door. I'm probably going to end up going this way and I'm going to hold it back away from the back side of the wood a little bit and then I'm just going to bear down on it and bend down. You see what I mean? And I want to keep in the middle of this. I don't want to get too too close to the top or the bottom because you could tweak this bit and not get it flat down. I want this whole thing straight down, straight down, straight down. You see, see what I'm doing here? And because I have the other thing, these have to be nice and tight because if those were loose, I could just, I could just bend this hinge right off the door. You know, that's, that's going to be a no-no. And I'm, I'm good with that. These are tight. And generally, this is the way you're bending them for for things like we're doing. You don't have to bend this up. There's very seldom a time where I'd have to take my, my crescent, uh, or this is called a spanner wrench, and go up the other way. Because that's the very opposite of usually what most doors are doing. Okay, so that's gonna be my next step. And if you have just a small crescent, see this, I mean I could, I, I might be, I could probably do it with this small one, too. And bear down on it. And then maybe it, I don't, you know, the last thing you want is to get too close and, and put an indentation. That's why you don't want to use this edge of your crescent wrench, you know? If you use that, if you go down there, you could dig that and have a nice little pretty mark on your door, okay? And how far do I know 
to do this. I don't exactly, but I'm going to go down to wherever I feel I need to, okay? So that's my next step. <laughs> 